So in today's game plan, I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step on how I win more games on Fortune's Keep. Now, friend, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm a player that goes for kills initially, and then towards the end of the game, I try to clutch out a win. This strategy does work for me since I have a 3.8 KD for Resurgence and a 4.11 KD on regular Caldera. And not only that, I actually have about 1,900 wins on both game modes combined. To start off, since this is a step-by-step, -step, we're gonna talk about landing spots. This right here is a super overpowered landing spot that I found. And now the reason why I say it's OP is because it's super uncontested. Down here in the basement, nobody really knows about this spot and ever comes down here. And go. if you need to get like some transportation, you have a heli spawn up there. You just seen you have a balloon over there. You have another balloon over here where this red dot is at. So on top of transportation, you have loadout money, you have UAV money, and you're at the edge of the map. So you have to worry about people rotating into you. You're the one rotating outward. So if you guys don't have a good spot to land at, I highly suggest you take my spot right here. Take my whole rotation if you want. Now I will say the only bad thing about landing here is over to my left is keep. There's a lot of people that like to sit up there and shoot down at you. You do have to be careful for that third party. So as we're fighting this team, I'm gonna explain it right after I'm ready. Do it in slow motion. That's pretty much it. His boy ran away if you see them. So we just take our time. We stop. At this moment, we're looking to our left for teammates. We're looking to our right for teammates. We're also listening for audio cues for his teammates. We're not so much focused on where he's at or what he's doing because we already know where he's at and what he's doing. So what we do is we immediately chow him. Right after you chow him, you want to get the thirst. Once you get the thirst, immediately look at the, the UAV because it tells you what kind of movements are their teammates are doing. It lets you know if they're pushing you, if they're falling back, if they're moving laterally. The sensor kind of spaced out. What I wanted to do was get this first guy weak. We're just telling him enough to get him weak because the other guy, if you noticed, let me go back a little bit. So right before we chow, we noticed that his friend was in a full sprint and he was kind of far back. So we have enough time to actually chow one of these players, get him weak, not enough to be greedy and get the kill, but just to get him weak and then get a different angle. Because if you notice, that, look at where he's looking. He's looking at where I was just at. Positioning is so important. It's enough to get him weak before he can even re like, come on, bro. He can't even react in time as he was looking over here. Now we reposition again to actually kill the first guy that's pushing us because the second guy already had the cracked armor. So he's most likely not going to challenge. And if he does challenge, he's getting smoked because he has no place. And that's pretty much how this played out right here. But after we got the knock, we're still looking around to see where his boy's at. And he actually ran away. You can see him right under that down sign. And overall, it just worked out just to perfection. So there it goes. So as we approach this by, we get shot. I honestly thought I was safe. Be real with you. So right here, we got shot. We're looking right now. We're looking literally right now. How many people are close? How far are they? How many players total? We're looking over here to the left, over here to the right, at these rocks down here. We're literally scanning the whole map right now. As we push up right here while we're playing, we're still peeking. We're not having our whole body out where we still have some of this cover right here. So if they do peek, we can quickly get back to cover and do what we need to do. So right here, we're listening for audio as well. We heard him pushing right there. That's why I canceled my plate. We go out on challenge. It honestly took me way too long to kill him. It should have never took that long because if he did have friends that were closer, I would have probably been dead, honestly. But that child was smart. It's like, what else are you going to do? Pay attention to where he's at on the map. I feel a snapshot. It's the same thing. We're playing up. We're peeking both sides. Peeking up here, looking up here. We're looking down to the right. You throw another snapshot. Like after the first snapshot, if he didn't send me, he was never going to send me at all until his friends pushed him. You have to know when people are stalling. A lot of players in this game, they stall and wait for their teammates to help them out in the fight. Even if it is a 1v1. And I knew he was going to do that because he never got closer. If you notice on the map again, remember how I said look at him on the map? He never got any closer. He just moved laterally around me. He was never trying to send me by himself. And now in the end, it paid off because I knew what he was going to do. And now just watch this. As we zip away, look who's coming up. It's the same thing with every team. I'm telling you guys. He's waiting for his boys to push me, have some confidence. So now what we do is we reposition. We completely flip the script on. We have high ground, they have low ground. We know exactly how many players and where they're at. So since we knew that, I was going to actually push them. But luckily for us, we didn't have to. We had kills fall right out of the sky for us. <laughs> Literally, we had two of them. But that guy got away. And then we got shot from his boy that was close 
at like I want to say the corner of this building somewhere over there so We pop daddy and we uh just run towards them Instead of beating around the bush, why not send him? I didn't take the door because I have daddy pop. I didn't want him to hear that. It's pretty much self-explanatory. It wasted daddy if I did that. And I'm explaining this right after. This guy's cheating. Not cheating, bro. All right, so right here, boom. Same guy shot us. He repositioned. That was smart. I wasn't expecting that. Positioning is key. So now right here, what we're doing is we're plating up. We're listening for audio. We're peeking corners. Right there, we heard audio. He was pushing us, right? What we do is we fall back a little bit more to buy us some time to get more information. Peeking left. Peeking right. Listening for audio. You just heard him. Peeking again. We got primary out, get him weak, and then we send him. I honestly expect him to be a little bit closer. That's, That's why I swapped guns. That was my mistake. That's pretty much how I did that. We need plates, so we just airstrike that to make oh, people fall back a little bit. Get these plates. And now we push him again. We just reposition, but we push him. All right, so going back, like I said, position is key. I want to get on top of this roof, but you heard audio right there. Somebody flying in. So that takes priority of me getting on top of the roof. Get that knock. We heard people inside. There's a, a window he could have jumped out of. We have a general idea of where he's at. He's inside the house. We don't really need to waste our time and thirst him because you're just setting yourself up if you try to go for that thirst. We heard him right there and we actually seen him. Boom, slide cancel, put him down. As we killed him, we heard more audio and more footsteps aside. We're looking at this door. We're looking at this door. We're also listening for audio. We're peeking it while we're playing up. We see him. Boom. Slide cancel. Just like that. All right. As always, man, we're getting UAVs. UAVs are the key to getting high kill games. That and bounties. So that's what we're doing here. We're just chasing red dots. And our rotations are usually the same coming out of keep or my bad winery usually going in the grotto or lighthouse depends on where people are at i don't really need to explain that he just landed in like i said we're just chasing red dots but we're not blind you know we're paying attention to the uav we're seeing if we're if anybody's a threat to us to our right or in front of us. Nobody is, so we're just comfortable. Now we do see this red dot behind us. We're just rotating around before we challenge. We, we need to get some covers. You know, you don't want to be out in the open challenge anybody. No matter if they're good or bad. As we get to as we move up to get the third, we actually see this guy over there. I think he was ghosted because he was definitely not on the UAV at all. All right, so I don't know why he, I think this is like a visual bug. But that character, I don't think that was a real character. No hit markers or anything. But I'm just seeing if it's like, if I'm shooting rocks or like an invisible barrier, but I don't know why he's taking damage. I almost got killed for being greedy. Right here, you know, he's just child the guy flying in. He only has a pistol. And now, since we stayed in one spot for way too long, we got collapsed off from behind us. So that's when we're forced to rotate now. And I actually heard this guy under me, right there. That's another thing about this game. You never want to stay in one spot for way too long. You give the team that you're fighting opportunities to push you in different ways. You give more options for other people to third party you. And just overall, it's never a good idea. So right now, we're just working the shadows. I don't know where I'm at in this map. This is all foreign to me. But like I said, I'm a killer. I go get kills. So you grapple back up. And right here, I almost got tunnel vision. If you see on the map, I'm exposed. All out here to my right, all out here to my to behind me. As I'm pre-aiming walking this, trying to push up to these people and listen to where they're at. This is why I look around. I'm like, 
Okay, I'm out and open. I gotta be quick. I gotta make a move. So we just decide to run up here. Now we take our time. We just try to listen, see what's going on. And now we heard audio to our left. Boom, got the kill. We see his boys are right there. This would have been a good play if I didn't take so much damage. I could have just immediately jumped up top. But I took way too much damage. When you're, when you're in gunfights, you gotta make sure your shots count. And it literally almost costed us just by that guy doing that much damage to us. That was the difference between me getting a trio wipe within like 10 seconds or me having to do this and flee underground. I think we actually ran into that same guy we killed down here. Eventually, we get a UAV too. This was so clutch right here. Big game bounty. I love big game bounties. Boom, right there. They see us. I child one up until I knew the second guy was, was challenged too, so. Just please, no point even taking that fight. There, we got a little cave dweller. And I noticed a zip. As I kill, I noticed a zip. Like I said, this is all foreign to me. So we just zip back up. But I knew there had to be a way to get back up top from behind them. So we just reposition. Positioning is key, man. As you see, we're not running away. We're not going to a whole new area. We're going to the same area that we're comfortable with. We know what's going on. We know how many teams, how many players. You know, we just know this area. Instead of us leaving somewhere completely different, we have no idea what's going on over there. So you've seen those two guys pushing out. Boom, there they are right here. Child the one to get the easy knock. Got the other one. Look on the map. He's behind us. Immediately child. I don't really need to rewind. That's pretty much so explanatory. You gotta pick your shots wisely, honestly. And now somebody threw up a jammer on us. I think I actually end up finding another UAV. And we had a heartbeat. Boom. So heartbeats and UAVs don't work under a jammer. So we literally just sit in this corner for like 40 seconds until it's gone. With how close this zone is, there's no way I'm moving around without some type of like information. So we wait. So we got one above us. Which is smart that we didn't actually leave yet. So we got one, one below. So like I said, man, I get kills. We're pushing towards the pings. This is how I play the game. It may work for some of you guys. It may not, but I can guarantee that you will get better by doing this. You know, you never get better by holding hands and just sitting in corners. You get a UAV. We see multiple. We see him. We see that third row all the way in the back. So in total, it's three guys below. We just want to get one knock. Controller oh, players. You notice what I was doing right there. I'm strafing left and right with these shots. Right here. Notice how I'm strafing left and right with my character. That's called rotational aim assist. You get better aim assist doing that. Take advantage of it. And now we heard audio. Surprisingly, they wanted to push me and we see him on the UAV. But we knew it was three of them. Even though he was ghost, we knew it was three. So you want to check that. You know, even if he may not be there, if you, even if you don't think he's there, check it. You know, one guy sent us, so why would he send us alone? Now it's a 1v1. <clears throat> this guy almost caught us too right here. I did not know you could climb up right there. See, I have no idea what was going on. That's all foreign to me. That sense we do, he just ran up the steps right there. We knew it. we can get him right there. Now, right here, this is where I said that, you know, I get kills, right? This is not the time to get kills. This is the time to clutch it up, get the win, and focus on rotations. And that's what we do here. I'm taking note of where teams are at with this UAV that I have. I'm actually trying to find money for another UAV, but it... Turns out they didn't have anything. So before we take the zip, we're looking. We notice there's a team right here. There's a team right here. But there's another team that's unaccounted for. So I'm assuming that they're all next to each other. So we just go here on the corner of the map. And if you notice, I also pinged high ground. 
that's a high part of the map i never like being low ground because then you're vulnerable from people to your left right and above you but if you're above then you're only vulnerable to people below you so that's what we do we just focus on rotations we chill out for a little bit we're not focusing on kills we're focusing on getting the win and also if you guys notice i have i'm being hunted by this team in front of me it's a red threat so we're also waiting for that timer to run out we're literally just stalling for the zone to close and the bounty to go away as it does we were praying that we get circled but we didn't get it no problem we have a gas mask we seen that guy up top he didn't see us heartbeat again quickly make your move make your move you already know what's going on all three players were on the heartbeat cluster it to throw off their rotations slow their rotations down and now we just get high ground man take a little bit of gas damage if you need to whatever we didn't have time to get to the roof plus we didn't even need to zones are going over here anyways that's why we didn't go all the way to the top we seen that guy peeking out boom take cover we're peeking again just a child just in case he's seen us we heard him coughing to our right right here this is this is ggs bro it's done and that right there is a step-by-step -step on how i win more games so if this was helpful in any way make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and most importantly do me a favor down in the comments let me know how good of a coach i was or how bad of a coach i was and how to improve